Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Ocean County School Counselors Association Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions that's happening this evening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions on the same website where you registered for this one. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week's time at strivescan.com backslash O-C-S-C-A. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenters and we'll get started this evening with Lawrence Technological University. Hello, my name is Patty Rockwood. I'm a counselor from Lawrence Technological University and also with me tonight is my colleague, Jane Franco. Uh, Lawrence Tech is located in Southfield, Michigan. We're about an hour north of Detroit in what would be considered the Midwest um, Tech and Business Center. So there's a lot of um, colleges and universities near us, a lot of uh, companies, especially the auto industry and a lot of corporations. Quick history about Lawrence Tech. We were founded in 1932 as a college of engineering by the Lawrence brothers. And we actually rented our first space from Henry Ford. And so we offered engineering courses for the auto workers part time. And since then we've grown, we have over 100 uh, programs and they're in four different departments or four different colleges, architecture and design, arts and sciences, business and IT and engineering. Engineering is our biggest division. Mechanical engineering is our biggest program with several specialties and civil engineering is our second biggest program. We also have what I consider some unusual um, programs. One of them is transportation design. Kind of makes sense where, where the auto industry is and everything, but it's not limited to automobiles. It can be trucks, boats, planes, anything. Uh, but it's the art part the design process, transportation design. Then we also have audio engineering technology. Um, one of our faculty actually owns an audio studio that's about, I think, 20 minutes away from campus. And so students get lots of experience, real life experience right there. We believe in theory and practice, which means not only are you going to be in the classroom, but you're also going to be um, working on projects or research, depending what major you're in. So you're gonna be doing hands-on right away as freshmen. And that allows you to then do internships sooner. So a lot of times sophomore year or junior year, students go and do internships or co-ops, we have both. Co-ops are usually during the summer, internships are during the year. And our internships, most of them are paid. So it's really good opportunity. And a lot of our students actually get jobs from those internships. Um, we have, as you can see on the screen, 11 to 1 student to faculty uh, ratio. Uh, generally, 15 students in a class or less. And then, as you can see, 92% of our students get employed or register for grad school at commencement. Cost for our school is including tuition, room, and board. It's about 45 to 47,000 a year. We do have a lot of scholarships. We have academic scholarships that start at 4,500 and go up to full tuition. Uh, we also have scholarships based on financially, financial need. And then we also have different scholarships, private scholarships, uh, first robotic scholarships, Boy Scout scholarships, DECA scholarships, um, Project Lead the Way scholarships. So there's a lot of different scholarships that students are eligible for. We have, um, about a third of our students live on campus. And we actually, um, we have four different types of housing and freshmen actually live in the newest building. Um, so that's really nice for the freshmen. They're generally two to a room and then um, resident hall uh, um, bathrooms. And we also have in that room is a workout room on the first floor. Uh, that's the first of our residence halls to have that. It's you get you have free laundry, free maid service, things like that. We have over 60 clubs and organizations, everything from academic clubs, um, I'd say Blue Devil Sports, so students that are in mechanical engineering interested in automotive. Um, they build race cars, different, different types and everything. 
but then also we have fun ones. Um, one of them a few years ago was grilled cheese sandwich club. And once a month they met, had all kinds of different grilled cheese sandwiches. So it can be anything. We also do have Greek life on our campus. For sports, we're NAIA, which is not NCAA related, but equivalent to NCAA Division Three. We do have um, scholarships for most of the sports, except for ice hockey. We now this year are gonna have women's hockey. So we have men's ice hockey and women's ice hockey. We're also starting cheerleading, cheerleading this year. And we have, a, we have a marching band, a pep team, dance team, color guard, drum line, and they all get some scholarships also. For admissions, we are rolling admissions. So that means once a student applies and gets all their information into us, in about three to four weeks, they'll have an answer. Uh, we are test optional for the seniors and juniors, uh, possibly the sophomores, but we haven't made those decisions yet. Average GPA is about a 3.40. We like to see at least a 3.0 or better, or about an 85 to 87 or better. Uh, we have an application right online, and we also do take the common application. We, all our students get laptop computers and they're with the most up-to-date software, depending what your major is, so that when you go out and do internships or get jobs, you've been learning on the most up-to-date software from whatever that company or organization or field uh, would be and everything. Um, generally, they say that at, after the, you finish and graduate, probably those computers are worth $75,000. In, in, in software and different things that you got to learn on. Courses are all taught by the faculty and um, all our students, I think it's, it's in April this year, I forgot what the date is, but we have research day. So all, all the students do, that, do, um, inter, that do research or projects, things like that, they all get to present on that day and that's a, a really big thing on our campus. And it, so we do invite students to visit. We actually are on campus right now. Our students are on campus. They've been since the day after Martin Luther King Day. Uh, we're doing visits on campus, but you can also go online. And I think Jane is putting that up in the chat our, on our website and um, my name and her name and our email. And um, so you can go online, look at information. You can also come visit on campus. So there's all kinds of ways that you can connect with our school and everything. So I thank you for taking the time uh, to listen to what, talk to what I'm saying about Lawrence Technological University. And I hope it makes you um, more interested in finding out more. And I don't know if you noticed, but we're the blue devil, we're the blue devils. So on top of the picture, there we are, the blue devils. Thanks a lot and have a good day. Great, thank you so much, Patty. Our next presentation this evening comes to us from Lesley University. Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Melissa Essman and I am uh, a part of the admissions staff here at Lesley and I'm really excited to introduce you today to our uh, dynamic and exciting campus and uh, student life. Um, Leslie is definitely a smaller school. We have about 2,200 undergraduate students, um, but that has never stopped them or us from leaving our mark on the world. Uh, we focus a lot on small class sizes. Really, the largest you'll probably ever see is 20 to 25 students. Um, it is even smaller in our BFA program, and most of our classes are discussion-based rather than lecture. Um, and it really allows our students and faculty connect, dig deep on topics, and get to know each other on a deeper level. It's actually really not uncommon in a Leslie uh, classroom to hear students and faculty calling each other by their first name uh, because they're actually viewed more as peers than they are, um, you know, in like a typical student teacher hierarchy. Um, there are four academic schools at Leslie, the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, we call it CLASS. Um, and the College of Art and Design, LA Plus D. Uh, those are both for undergraduate students and the Graduate School of Arts and Social Sciences and the Graduate School of Education. Both of our undergraduate schools have natural pathways into the graduate programs. 
Um, and we'll talk about those in a, a little bit later in the presentation. Um, but because we focus so much on the human arts and helping professions, um, we know that many of our students require um, graduate degrees to be successful in the, their field. So we try to make it as um, easy and cost effective as we can. Uh, we offer 35 majors in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences and nine in the College of Art and Design. Um, our most popular programs um, include business, education, which is actually what we were founded on, uh, psychology, art therapy, social work, animation and motion media, fine art, illustration, and graphic design. Um, Cambridge is our home. We are very uh, intertwined within the Cambridge community, uh, which is arguably one of the most academic and diverse areas, at least on the East Coast. Um, just within our city limits are four other schools. Um, and of course, Boston right across the Charles River is um, full of, of colleges, more than I could sit here and list tonight. So it does give you access to about 250,000 other college students. Um, and all of the diversity and excitement that comes along with that. Um, it's wonderful for internships, uh, creative spaces, um, and just genuine general, general collaboration, um, especially within the Cambridge area. Um, so lots of opportunities for students. Um, students at Leslie are very active and it is not what I would call a one size fits all type of place. And as such, we have a lot of ways to give back and get involved. Um, we have more than 50 clubs with the ability to actually very easily form a new one if there's not something that piques your interest. Um, 14 Division Three athletic programs and uh, even more, um, Leslie is an active and vibrant community. Uh, I like to say that our students are doing all of the things. Uh, they have their hands in a lot of pies. Um, they're always involved in different opportunities, making the most of every um, moment, not only on our campus, but in the community and beyond. Um, that includes study abroad, uh, internships, which we'll talk about in just a moment, um, and just overall involvement in the world around them. We really do consider our students to be global citizens, and it is very much encouraged to have that attitude while you're on our campus. Um, one of the things we really pride ourselves on is our internship and placement rate. Uh, students at Leslie will complete at least one internship regardless of program, but realistically, it's a lot more. Um, especially again, going back to those helping professions, um, it's really probably two or three, maybe even four. A, that's partially because some programs just simply require that. Education, social work, uh, counseling, and, and, ther and art therapy are always gonna require heavy internship pieces. Um, but the other piece of it is that our students are hungry. They wanna learn, they wanna make, they wanna be involved. Um, and we really do encourage that. Um, this, the brands and companies that you see on the screen are just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to where our students are interning and learning and ultimately working with 96% of our most recent grads uh, reporting employment in their field or uh, continuing their education into our uh, graduate programs. We offer something unique called the Leslie Dividend. Um, that offers any graduate of a Leslie program the opportunity to get 12 credits of their graduate experience paid for by the university. It would be your first semester and your last semester. And in addition, we do have combined degree and accelerated degree programs. So you can start earlier, pay the undergraduate rate, graduate, and still get free tuition. So it really can be extremely cost effective, taking off um, often sometimes more than a third of the cost of your graduate uh, tuition and a year to two years in time. Okay, so despite what this <laughs> slide suggests, I always laugh when I see it, our application process is actually really straightforward at Leslie. We really only require a few things. We require the Common App. The Common App essay is perfectly okay with us. We look for one letter of recommendation. Um, we often get two, but we prefer that um, it come from a teacher and we need your official high school transcript. Leslie is completely test optional and has been for a few years now. Um, the only difference would be really if you are applying for a BFA program, one of our Bachelor of Fine Arts programs, you would need to submit a portfolio. Um, interviews and portfolio reviews are not required, but they are strongly recommended. Um, I always tell students, never be afraid of it. It's just as much an opportunity for you to get to know 
me and the university and your admissions counselor as it is for us to get to know you. Um, and the best for last, uh, application to Leslie is your application for merit-based scholarship. Everybody gets something. Uh, right now they're ranging from about 18 to $14,000. Um, and then we do have post aid um, awarding as well. So if you do have need, we do try to recognize that to make Leslie accessible for everyone, as well as offering the lowest college tuition um, in our area and among the lowest within New England. That's me. I hope to meet you uh, virtually or on campus soon. Thank you all so much. Great, thank you so much, Melissa. Our next presentation this evening comes to us from Lycoming College. Good after or good evening, everyone. My name is Justin Austin. I'm the assistant director of admissions at Lycoming College. I'm a graduate of the school, graduated from Lycoming in 2013 with a degree in corporate communications. And I'm happy to talk to you all this evening about, about a place very close to my heart. Uh, Lycoming College located in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Um, for those of you who don't know where Williamsport is, you do if you watch Little League Baseball towards the end of the summer, Williamsport, Pennsylvania is home to the Little League World Series. And that is what we are best known for. Really great time uh, when pretty much the entire world of Little League uh, descends upon Williamsport for the tournament. Really unique opportunities for us here at Lycoming. We are a small campus. We are only 1,200 students. Where your average class size is going to be around 15, 14 kids per class, and your student faculty ratio is around 12 to 1. So, what that means is during your time at Lycoming, you are not a number, but a person and a student looking to achieve anything that you put your heart and mind to. During your time, we offer 43 majors and 66 minors, so that gives students many opportunities to customize a cross-disciplinary program to your specific interest and career goals. Some of our unique programs include astrophysics, biochemistry, 3D animation, entrepreneurship, neuroscience, energy studies, and Latin American archaeology. But some of our more well-popular programs include business, biology, chemistry, as well as film and video arts, theater, um, pretty much criminal justice, education, and psychology. So whatever you're looking forward to will be able to get you to where your goals are set. One of the great things too with us being a small campus is that students will get to work with their professors one-on-one. -on -one. Students get to meet their academic advisor as early as summer orientation before even stepping foot on campus in the fall. Another unique opportunity is the fact that we have our Center for Enhanced Academic Experiences. That office takes career services and combines it with, uh, combines it with the opportunity to do faculty student research, field work, internships, and help you get ready because we do not offer any graduate classes on our campus. Um, so, but if you are looking to get your doctorate or your MBA, we'll get you there as we offer a postgraduate fair. So each major is placed within a specific cluster and within that cluster, a career, a career advisor to help you through all four years. Again, they do resume workshops, cover letter workshops, mock interviews, all that sort of good stuff. And the reason we do that is because we take what you learn in the classroom and put it in a real world experience. Based upon a survey that was conducted by our 2019 seniors, 98.3% of those students were either employed or in, grad, in graduate programs, <coughs> excuse me, within the first six to 12 months upon graduation. So that is a really great, is some really great proof of what our students are doing in the classroom and helping them get to where they want to be. We are open for visitors to come visit campus. Uh, you know, with everything going on with COVID, we completely understand, but we were a residential campus this fall. We are a residential campus again in the spring. So if you are interested in come visiting, please do sign up on our website, lakehoming.edu. Um, so you can come take a wonderful tour of our campus, but if you don't feel comfortable, that is perfectly fine. We offer virtual tours as well as virtual counselor chats. Now to dive into the application and financial aid portion of things, we are on the Common App as well as the Coalition application. No difference between the two. Students are, are eligible to apply for those free online. And what we need for a completed app is the application itself, the essay component that's in both um, either the Common App or the Coalition application, an official copy of your high school transcript, one letter of recommendation, we prefer to come from a guidance counselor, but we do understand that they get bombarded with requests. So we will take one from one of your core teachers, such as mathematics, social studies, 
all that sort of good stuff. Um, we, if you have the chance to sit on a standardized test, we do accept both the SAT and ACT. And we do super score. So if you have taken the test more than once, you can submit that. But with everything going on with COVID, and it's actually how I applied to the school, there is test option. Our regular requirements in, required you to be in the top 50% of your graduating class and submit two writing samples. But again, with everything going on with COVID for the foreseeable future, um, you can just go test option without submitting those writing samples. When you apply, you're automatically considered for our merit-based scholarships. 100% of our students receive some form of financial aid, whether it be merit-based, need-based, or both, and a lot of our students do qualify for both. Another great part about our job is not only are we the admissions counselors, but we're also your financial aid counselors as well. So if you have any questions or concerns when you get your financial aid package, you would contact one of, your, one of our admissions counselors to work with you through that process. Just some other cool, unique facts about campus is that we over eight, offer over 80 plus clubs and student organizations from student senate to outdoor leadership and education. As you can see in the upper left-hand corner, we have a rock climbing wall, which is part of our new building, our Craft Gateway Center, which is home to OLE, Outdoor Leadership and Education in the Center for Enhanced Academic Experiences. Some new stuff coming on campus as well. We're getting a brand new music building for the fall of 2022. We're very excited about that. And we renovated our academic center uh, uh, in the summer of 2019. So the classrooms are state-of-the-art, which is some really great opportunities. So we hope that you have the chance to come visit campus soon. If you are interested, please scan the QR code on your screen so you can set up your own view book. And if you have any questions, I'll be putting my contact information in the chat. Thank you so much for joining us this evening and best of luck with your college search. Great. Thank you so much, Justin. As we're about halfway through our presentations, just a reminder, that the Q&A widget is available if you have questions about specific institutions or broader ones for all of our presenters. Up next, I'm pleased to present Maine Maritime Academy. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Allaby. I'm an admissions counselor at Maine Maritime, uh, and I'm very excited to share with you about uh, this incredible school. Let me just make sure I've got this all good to go. So um, you may or may not have already heard about Maine Maritime Academy, but just in case not, um, a little bit about us. We are located halfway up the coast of Maine. Um, so we're about two and a half hours north of Portland, about one hour away from Acadia National Park. And you can see just right here pictures of our campus. We are right on the coast. Um, so our students have that waterfront access both for um, being able to use the different vessels that we have within our fleet and also to go play. Uh, it's an a fantastic playground for our students. So a little bit about us. We are a small school similar to some of the other colleges you've heard from tonight. Uh, we're right around 950 undergraduates and due to that we also have very small class sizes um, and this has actually allowed us to keep our students on campus throughout this pandemic. Uh, we didn't have to change a whole whole lot, um, you know, including masks of course, but because we already had small class sizes it, it was favorable to um, making sure all of our students stay safe during the pandemic. So uh, certainly here, you're going to get to know your professors. They're gonna know your name. They're gonna know if you did your homework or not. So there's a lot of nice uh, support as well as accountability. Um, we do offer 23 different degree programs. I'll delve into those on the next slide and embedded within those programs are seven professional licenses, five of which come directly from the Coast Guard. And I'll connect those dots. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, we've got this incredible uh, waterfront that's truly the heart of our campus, whether or not you are pursuing a degree that has uh, one of those Coast Guard licenses attached to it, uh, the waterfront is open and accessible to you. So you might be in the business program or power engineering, um, and I really encourage you to take advantage of the different sailing vessels, motor vessels, all of that that we have to offer. We do also have a variety of clubs and organizations, as well as 15 Division III varsity sports. So there's plenty to get involved in, even though we're a small campus. Um, definitely a spot for you. So one thing I wanted to point out as well is the four uh, primary areas of study. Uh, so I would say our largest um, sort of student base is in our engineering department where our students pursue both marine and power engineering. The marine engineers are getting what's called the unlimited um, 
third assistant engineers Coast Guard license. The transportation students have a variety of licenses available for them to earn as well from the unlimited size, which allows um, both them and the engineering students to work aboard any size vessels and any waters all over the world. Uh, as well as smaller limited licenses that might um, allow you to work aboard more coastal vessels such as uh, supply vessels, research vessels, tugs and barges, compared to the, the large, the much larger ocean going, ocean going vessels such as uh, tankers, um, oil vessels, things of that nature. We do also offer international business and logistics, um, which has a whole lot to do with the international trade, imports, exports, those sorts of pieces. Um, and then the last that we offer is ocean studies. So those students are not only able to learn the science pieces as well as those research skills, but they're also able to get that Coast Guard license to actually drive the boat to the place that they want to conduct their research. And that's a pretty special component. Um, a hallmark of our classes are certainly their hands-on nature. This is one of the, the primary pushes for having our students here on campus. There are just certain things we can't teach you, such as welding or um, knot tying or splicing, et cetera, online. And so we wanted to make sure that uh, we could bring everybody back so they could take full advantage of our hands-on lab spaces. Um, so it doesn't matter what your major is, there will be something for you. So that way you can take what you've learned in lecture and then go actually apply it and do it. So by the time you graduate, the skills and your knowledge base that you have are truly that muscle memory. I definitely wanna mention the Regiment of Midshipmen. This is our uniformed student body. So you'll see here about 65% of our students are in this um, regiment. And what they do in essence is everything in order to prepare you for shipboard life. So for the marine engineering students and the marine transportation students getting that huge unlimited tonnage Coast Guard license, it is actually a requirement of the Coast Guard for our students to be in this uniform student body. So although we look um, very much like a military school, uh, our students when they graduate go on to become what are called commercial mariners. Um, very few do actually go into the service. Uh, those who do, about five to eight percent, are able to go right into the Navy, the Marine Corps active duty, or you can also join the Naval Reserve. And there are some other opportunities as well. So if you are interested in serving, we can certainly help you out with that. Um, the really cool part, in my opinion, <laughs> is certainly your summer opportunities. So again, doesn't matter what your major is, your summers are geared at getting you that professional experience, that professional hands-on experience so you can build out your network, um, get those pieces down on your resume. So by the time you graduate, you've got that job offer in hand. So if you're getting one of those Coast Guard licenses, you might be on one of our vessels that you see below in that left-hand corner uh, doing one of our training cruises. You might be cadet shipping out with a professional company you might be doing a co-op or an internship, but all of those uh, opportunities are gearing you up for that job uh, when you graduate. And 90% of our students are employed in their fields within 90 days of graduation. This statistic was largely true last year in the pandemic year as well, except that 90 days of graduation was more like 180 days, uh, especially as we sort of saw the maritime industry take a little bit of a pause and then come back on pretty quickly um, in the last year. So you can see here a list of some of the different companies that our students will go on to work for. I'm gonna skip over that and I'll get on to my last one. Thank you so much for listening. If you are interested more in Maine Maritime Academy and the different uh, bachelor's programs that we offer, feel free to get in touch with me. Here's my email and I'll go ahead and throw it in the chat. Have a great one. Great, thank you so much. Our next presentation this evening comes to us from Millersville University. Hi everybody, thanks so much for hopping on this evening. My name is Josh, I'm Assistant Director of Admissions at Millersville. And if you haven't heard of us before, we're probably the coolest college that you've never heard of. We're located just across the river in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So just about an hour west of Philly. And you're, you're, you're really gonna think that some of this stuff is interesting, I, I have a feeling. So to get started, Here's me. Okay, so to get started, our president at Millersville is Dr. Wuba, and this guy, believe it or not, is actually a king from Ghana, Africa. So not many colleges can say that their president is also a king, but that's exactly who we have at Millersville. We have received Ghanan delegations on our campus 
He's taken students with him to Africa as well. But Dr. Ruba is extremely intelligent and very compassionate. He was actually working with Anthony Fauci last summer at the United Nations on how to safely reopen college campuses during the pandemic. So what we did here at Millersville for the last year is we've been 80% online, 20% in person. So we never went fully virtual here at Millersville. We've always had about 600 students living on campus. But what we're gonna be doing starting this summer is we're gonna be switching that model. And we're gonna be 80% in person, 20% online. But even while we start to you know, wrap up with the pandemic, we are starting to offer campus tours again. So if you do want to come visit us, you're definitely welcome to do that. A little bit more quick information about Millersville. We're not just any state university in Pennsylvania. We're actually the very first one. We're almost 200 years old. And Millersville is a medium-sized state school in the Commonwealth. So we're not too big, we're not too small. We have about 7,000 undergraduate students and that would make your average class size probably pretty similar to what you have at school right now, between 25 and 30 students per class. Okay? Most of our students do come from Pennsylvania, but uh, about 15% of our students come from all across the country. We've got over 30 states represented at Millersville and we're about 5% international. So as you can see, we're located uh, just west of Philadelphia. We're really in a smart location if you're looking for a smart place to go to college because we're just as far from Philly as we are from Baltimore. And we have students doing internships in cities like Harrisburg, DC, New York City. So we've got access to a lot of really cool things in our, in our location. But my favorite thing about our location is that you can go 10 minutes to our south and be in the middle of an Amish cornfield. Or you could go 10 minutes to our west and be at the Turkey Hill Farm where they make all the ice cream and iced teas. And last year, one of our biology students was the ice cream taste tester. Or you could go 10 minutes to our east and be in the middle of downtown Lancaster which is a city of 60,000 people. And that's where our students go for like coffee shops, bookshops, nightlife. If you think of like the downtown area of Tom's River, it's a little bit bigger than that, a little bit more artsy, but same kind of feel. There's stuff to do and stuff to see, okay? But yeah, that we've got everything you could want within 10 minutes of campus. We've got over a hundred different programs at Millersville. Whether you know exactly what you wanna study when you go to college, or you're not entirely sure, chances are pretty good that we're gonna have something just right for you at Millersville. We've got programs like biology, business, education. These are some of our biggest majors, but we also have some pretty unique ones and majors that are hard to find, like meteorology, artificial intelligence, botany, music industry, entertainment tech. So like I said, whether you know exactly what you wanna study or you're not entirely sure, definitely give us a closer look because we've got a lot to pick from. And our academics are top notch at Millersville. Really they should be, that's why we want you to come to us. But we have a ton of stuff to do outside of the classroom as well. For starters, we're really close to Hershey Park. A lot of our students either like to go there or they have part-time jobs there, okay? We also have a football team, a marching band, fraternities, sororities, religious organizations, a television station, I mean, our swimming pool on campus even has a sound system in it, so you can hear music when you're underwater. So whether you're the gamer who wants to go to college to make friends from all around the world, or maybe you know, you're looking to really step out and try something new, Millersville is gonna be a perfect place to do that. Very quickly, all of our students live in our brand new suite style residence halls. They all have air conditioning, Wi-Fi, cable, parking for freshmen, so if you have a car, you are definitely welcome to bring it with you for a year. And our costs, our costs are extremely competitive. Right now, our sticker price is about 36,000 a year, but we are offering reduced tuition currently to the tune of $6,000 a year. That means that your costs are gonna be pretty close to what you would pay to go to an in-state university or to a school like Ruff. We do accept the Common App. We also have our own application. But if you're currently a junior, you can start applying to us starting July 1st when the Common App opens. Otherwise, if you're a current senior, 
definitely get your application in now as we are rolling in mission. And the last thing I have to say is we want you to guys to know that we work with a lot of different types of students at Millersville. We had a kid who came to us from Ocean County once. This kid was first in their family to go to college, came from a broken home, and was on free lunches in high school. Instead of falling through the cracks, we got this kid to graduation, not with one degree, kids up to their fifth degree now. And after Millersville, this kid from Ocean County went on to work for the Walt Disney Company down in Florida. They travel the world now teaching English in places like Budapest, Poland, Germany. And you know who this kid was from Ocean County who came to Millersville? It was me. So if you're looking for a place that's gonna let you live up to your potential, there's not a better place to do it than a place like Millersville. There's people like me there who won't just believe in Millersville, but will believe in you too. Thank you. Great, thank you so much. Just a reminder that we should have a few moments for Q&A at the end of our evening, so be sure to put any in the, the widget at the bottom of your screen. But for now, I'm pleased to introduce Monmouth University. Hi, everyone. My name is Laura Yankowski. I'm an admission counselor over at Monmouth University. But more importantly, I'm actually your admission counselor. So when you click submit on the application, it comes directly to me. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, editorial remarks, anything at all, please feel free to let me know. I definitely want to be a resource to you throughout this process. So I'm going to get started by sharing some facts and figures about Monmouth University. I really feel that these numbers help kind of frame that student experience here at the university. So we consider ourselves a medium-sized campus composed of 4,400 undergraduate students and 1,500 graduate students. Our average class size is 21 students per staff. Uh, per class, excuse me, and our student to staff ratio is 12 to 1. And 74% of our professors have the highest degree possible in their field. So what does this mean for you? Here at Monmouth University, we specialize in small, individualized, specialized attention from experts in the field. So all of our classes are taught by our faculty members. So you will not have a class that is taught by a TA or a graduate intern. You will have all of your classes taught by your professors. With our average class size being 21 students per class, most of your classes are going to be discussion based. So the professor will know your name. They will know what you're majoring in. They will know whether or not you're there that day. So if your plan is to only show up for the midterm and final and sleep through the rest of your classes, it's probably not going to go over so well. In addition to our small class sizes, our class maximum size is 35 students per class. So you will not be in a super large lecture hall, uh, seat 197 with a checkbox of whether or not you're there that day. So covering a little bit more about where we're located. We're located right in New Jersey, uh, right on the heart of the Jersey Shore, in my opinion, West Long Branch, New Jersey. And we are 0.8 miles away from the ocean. So we're less than one mile away from the beach. We do have beachfront residence halls for our juniors and seniors. Our campus is an absolutely gorgeous campus. Uh, we sit upon 169 acres and we have two National Historic Landmarks on our campus. In addition, we're relatively close to some major cities as well. We're only about an hour train ride from New York City, so you can hop right on the West Long Branch uh, train station, goes directly into Penn Station. It's going to be about an hour train ride. Uh, or you could take the ferry if you're more of a boat person. Uh, the ferry ride is going to be about 45 minutes. In addition to that, we are only about an hour and a half away from Philadelphia, um, and then we're still relatively close to Washington, D.C. So the reason why I'm bringing up all these immediate cities in our surrounding areas is because one of the things that we require as part of graduation is something called our ex-ed program, our experiential education program. So for regardless of your major, you are required to have a hands-on, out-of-the-classroom experience prior to graduation. So this can be fulfilled in a few different ways with like internships or research. So perfect example, uh, some of our business administration students were able to get internships in New York City. And one in particular I'm thinking of, uh, he had an internship at um, uh, J.P. Morgan and Chase. So he took the commuter train to go directly into the city. Uh, we had a student as well from our criminal justice program who got the FBI internship over the summer. Some of your majors will have these uh, class experience, uh, out of the classroom experience built into your courses. Uh, for example, if you're interested in things like nursing, social work, education, you're going to have field placements or rotation hours that you're going to complete as part of your degree. 
regardless if you know your major or not, you can major in almost any of these majors listed here with just three exceptions, which I'll cover in a second, and you'll have until the end of your sophomore year to declare your major. There's only three direct entry programs, nursing, speech language pathology, and occupational therapy that you cannot switch into. Moving a little bit right along now into some of our clubs and organizations on campus, we have over 100 different clubs and organizations on campus. When I last counted them, I got up to 129. Uh, so we have cultural based clubs, leadership based clubs, service based clubs. We also have club and intramural sports as well. So there's a lot of ways to be involved on campus. We are Division I athletics. We have 23 different Division I athletic teams listed here. And one of the things that I find very important about the university is that regardless of whether or not you sport, and I use the word sport as a verb, school spirit is super important. There's a lot of hawk pride here on campus. Uh, so a lot of our students will go to these athletic events because they enjoy the sport, or they might know someone who's in our pep band or cheer team or dance team, and then they go to these events just to support their friends. Generally speaking, about 10 to 15 minutes after the, uh, the game starts, uh, our student section is full. Moving right along to uh, the application for applying to the university. In order to apply to the university is very simple. We only need five things. We're going to need your application. So we're a member of the Common App or the application on our website. We're gonna need a $50 application fee. We're going to need your official high school transcript. We're going to need at least one letter of recommendation and we're going to need your Common App essay, the 650 word essay. We have gone test optional for the next three years. So seniors, juniors, and sophomores, you will have the option of applying with your SAT scores or without your SAT scores. Uh, so we are going test optional. Just to kind of help frame uh, what our middle 50% are. So our middle 50% for GPA is a 3.12 to a 3.72, and that's on a 4.0 scale. SAT is going to be between a 1060 and a 1210, ACT is going to be between a 21 and a 26. So that is our middle 50%. So we do have 25% of our population above and below those numbers. We do have three different deadline dates for you to apply to the university listed here. Uh, early decision, early action, and regular decision. If you're interested in one of our direct entry programs, nursing, speech, language, pathology, or occupational therapy, the only deadline date that we have available for that is our early action December 1st deadline date. Um, and last thing I want to leave you all with is that we are currently offering tours on campus, so I highly recommend coming to campus and seeing what we're all about is seeing if we're going to be a good fit. Uh, we are offering tours pretty much every day, multiple times throughout the day. We just ask that you register in advance and I'll be sure to put that information in chat um, and definitely feel free to reach out to me. Like I said at the very beginning, I want to be a resource to you throughout this process. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much, Laura, and thank you to all of our presenters for sharing your institutions with us, and we'll bring them all back for a moment as we have just a minute or two left, so quick kind of rapid fire Q&A, and we can go in the order of our initial presentations, so um, we'll start off with Patty, and I think a question that many times students are, are asking and curious about is what one event or tradition that really kind of um, defines your school would be? I think I mentioned it before, uh, the research day where students who've done research um, and or projects and everything can present them on campus that day. Um, and that's become a really big, big deal on campus and everything. So that's one thing that we have. I would say, Leslie, uh, the thing that tradition that I like the most, um, in addition to our regular gallery openings, is at these, we do have a digital film program at the end of the academic year, right before graduation in May, our seniors do have a film opening, like a film premiere at a local movie theater. They get to show their own work. Uh, there's popcorn and photographers and all sorts of exciting stuff. Families get to come. Um, and even last year when we were virtual, it did happen um, in its own way. It's a big part of who we are and the community comes out and shows up to support uh, creative minds that have just been uh, minted through our program. It's really exciting. For offset like combing, I would have to say 
our most favorite tradition is our gate ceremony. So as you come in as a freshman, there are a set of gates on our west end of campus that only open once per year, and that's for freshman orientation weekend. And then the Metzler gates, they open on graduation day, um, only for the seniors to walk through. You walk through the gates, down the steps, onto our beautiful quad, uh, and into your graduation ceremony. So that's that's a really cool, really cool thing that we do. Um, so students go in one gate and go out the other. So, but one of the cool things about like combing. I always love to hear about all the other college traditions at uh, Maine Maritime. Ours is, well, my favorite event that we do is right at the beginning of every fall semester, all freshmen uh, jump off the back of our training vessel. So right behind whoop, me on this side, everybody goes off following the president and it's a really fun day and it's really exciting. At Millersville University, we're an old school. That's a picture from the 1850s behind me of our school. And one of the things that our students do is they snap. Back in the day, it used to be so strict on our campus that guys and girls weren't allowed to talk to each other unless they were brother and sister. So if a guy like a girl, he would snap at her as she walked by. And if she snapped back, that would be the signal to meet up after the dinner bell. So our students still snap today. So if you're on our campus and someone snaps at you, they're saying like, what's up? So at Monmouth University, my favorite tradition is the involvement fair. So it happens the second Friday of every fall semester. Every single club and organization in existence at, uh, at Monmouth University will go set up on a table outside the Great Hall uh, on our shadow lawn, which is kind of like a large lawn area in the center of campus. And they essentially try to bribe people for their email addresses uh, to send them more information about the club or organization. It's the most smooth thing I've ever seen. They'll be like, oh, would you like some candy? Great. Just put your email address right down here and we'll send you more information about boxing club um that's actually how i got involved uh an email on boxing club because i wanted to pet their dog and i felt like i should sign up after um but what's really nice about that is that you're only agreeing to get more information about the club organization you're not actually signing up for it so um but it is a great chance to kind of see that hawk family kind of come forward where everyone's so embracing and trying to get everyone to join their club organization so that's definitely my favorite event Thank you all for sharing your traditions with us and thank you to our viewers for joining us as well. At the conclusion of this webinar, you'll be prompted with a brief four question survey and we would appreciate any feedback that you could provide. Also, just a reminder that there are other, other sessions happening this evening as part of the virtual college fair. You can register for those on the same website where you registered for this one, which is also where recordings of all sessions will be available in about a week's time. Thanks so much and have a great night.